Hi there. In this video, I'm going to lay some groundwork um, for understanding financial statements. And, and I'm going to start with the income statement, and we're going to focus on some of the terminology and some of the accounts that you'll see when you look at a company's income statement. Now, there are five main types of accounts. Um, typically used when recording business transactions. And I have those five listed here. Revenue, expense, assets, liabilities, stockholders, equity. The ones I'm gonna focus on in this video are these first two. Revenues and expenses. Those are the income statement accounts. And those are the ones that, that, that I'll give you a sense of, here's the terminology to look for, here's what it means when you see these various terms. Um, just to give you a bit of better understanding when you see an income statement, um, of what you're looking at. All right, so first off, the income statement. General overview, not related specifically to the accounts, but general overview. The income statement itself tends to tell investors about the profitability of the company. Okay, so I'm just going to write over here profitability. And of course, if you need to know about the profitability of the company, what you really need to know is what did the company earn and what costs did they have and the terms that represent those is revenue and expense as you see on this slide so revenues are something earned and if you earn something in theory that increases company value and your expenses that's the costs you incurred costs incurred and of course, opposite of a revenue, these decrease company value. So if you hear somebody talk about the income statement, what they're talking about is a report on the company's profitability. And the things on that income statement are in two buckets, the revenue bucket or the expense bucket. What did you earn? What were the costs that you incurred? Now, under those buckets, you're going to have several very common accounts that you see across different companies. Revenue accounts are very easy to identify because typically revenue accounts actually have the word revenue in the title. For example, sales revenue, service revenue. These right here are the main types of revenues that you are going to see from companies. Companies make money usually one of two ways, unless they're like a financial institution, usually one of two ways. They sell a product, therefore earning sales revenue, or they perform a service, therefore earning service revenue. So um, a company, uh, let's say like um, Toyota sells cars, right? They sell a product. On the other hand, you have a company like, um, uh, let's say, Comcast uh, that provides internet service. They make service revenue based on what they do, right? And so these are very common accounts that you'll see as revenues, and this is usually representative of the main point of business of the company whether they're a sales company or service company. Some companies do both. Think of, say, like an Apple. An Apple does both. They sell an iPhone, they sell an iPad, they sell a Mac, but they also perform uh, cloud services and repair services and so forth and so on. So some companies may actually have both. Um, some other common revenues that you might see, you might see interest revenue. It's never a good idea to let cash sit around just going stale. Most companies will try to invest that cash, get some sort of return, um, and therefore those companies will earn some um, interest. And so you might see some interest revenue. Um, you might also see something like dividend revenue. Companies might invest in the stock of other companies, and should those um, other companies pay a dividend, um, give cash back to the owners, the company that owns the other company's stock will record revenue, um, an increase in value because they earned some cash from, from having owned part of that other company. So sales revenue, service revenue, interest revenue, dividend revenue. Notice the word revenue is in the name of all of them and it really gives it away. Hey, those are your revenue accounts. Those are your something earned accounts. The one other word I'll draw your attention to, not because it's necessarily a revenue in itself, but it behaves just like a revenue. It's, it's something we call an other revenue, and 
Um, you'll learn about this if, if you haven't already when you learn more about the income statement in detail. But that is the word um, gain. So I'll put gains on here. And it could be gains for any number of things. It could be gains because you sold some equipment, gains because you sold an investment, gains because you had debt forgiveness. There, there's all kinds of reasons that you can have a, a gain. But just like your standard revenues, gains increase the value of the company. And so they are in themselves a revenue. They're just, they're a, they're a separately classified revenue. And that's getting into too much detail at this point. Um, it's beyond the scope of this video, but, but it is for all intents and purposes. If you see the word gain, you can think of that as a revenue. Let's move to expenses. Now, just like revenues, very often, but not always, very often, um, expenses have the word expense in the account name, therefore giving them away. So let's think about some various expenses you might see. Well, one of the biggest ones for all companies, salaries and wages, expense, right? The money you have to spend for your employees, huge, huge expense, huge cost incurred. Um, and, and But notice the word expense is in the name. So you know, oh, that's an expense, right? Um, say you have to pay rent rent expense. Say you um, use up some supplies at the company. Supplies expense. Notice that the word keeps showing up, right? Let's say you're on the other side of that lending arrangement where one company's earning interest revenue. Well, guess what? The other company, the one paying the interest, um, interest expense. Okay. Uh, you have to pay taxes to the government, right? Tax expense like those are just some of the some of the broad ones that you'll see and 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 the 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 number of expense accounts out there are really endless like you can call just about anything an expense if it involves some sort of cost but these are some of the common ones that you might see definitely salaries and wage expense and a lot of companies will even have a kind of a catch-all category that they call selling general and administrative, administrative expense, commonly referred to as S, G, and A. That's kind of a catch-all a lot of companies will use. Instead of breaking all the little expenses out separately, they'll just throw it all in this bucket because at the end of the day, investors don't always care about the breakdown of the, the little things. A couple of special ones that I just want to point, um, point out to you um, while we're here. One is called depreciation expense. Depreciation expense I'm calling out because it has um, an account that goes with it that is not an income statement account. It shows up on the balance sheet, and that account is called accumulated depreciation. And so you'll see depreciation show up um, in two places. You'll see it show up on the income statement. You'll see it show up on the balance sheet, but I don't want you to mix them up. When you see depreciation expense, that is an expense that goes on the income statement. And if you're not familiar with what depreciation is, don't worry about it. Um, this is something that, that you'll learn later um, as part of learning more about um, uh, 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 how uh, equipment and, and buildings and various other what we call fixed assets get expensed over time. Um, another one that I want to point out to you is what's known as cost of goods sold commonly abbreviated COGS. Um, if you ever see COGS, notice this is one where expense is not in the name, all right? And so that's one of the reasons that I wanna highlight it is because this one you have to know is an expense. The name doesn't give it away other than the fact that in the name is the word cost. And remember, expenses are costs incurred, right? So the, the fact that the word cost is in there kind of gives it away, but the word expense is not there, so it, it is easy to lose track of. And, and just so you know, cost of goods sold, whenever you hear that phrase, COGS, that is another really huge um, cost incurred by companies. And that is related to, if you are a company that sells a product and therefore makes sales revenue, remember those things that you're selling, that product you're selling, that costed you something. You either had to buy it from someone else or you had to buy parts and spend labor and make it yourself, whatever the case may be. Um, and so cost of goods sold is simply the expense that goes with the product that you're selling. And of course, 
Again, you're not expected to know what each and every one of these things is in detail in this video. This video is just to introduce you to the idea of what's the income statement there for, what are the accounts associated with it, what are the kind of the words and the terminology that you look for. All right, that's it for our income statement accounts. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for the next video.